Before we get started, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody how special each and every one of you is. You're a unique beauty, unlike any other. And I love you. Hey, are, are you doing okay? You look kind of thirsty, and it, it's pretty hot out here, so you should probably have a drink or something. Here, I was going to have this myself, but it looks like you need it more than me. It's just some water. Hey, um, your eyes have kind of dilated. Are you okay? You look like you're about to... Oh, hey. I see those eyelids fluttering. Back to the land of the living, eh? I'm sorry about that, but it was the only way I could get you here. I mean, it's kind of hard finding people who will just climb into a cello case willingly, and I had to specifically buy that case, so I'm not letting it just go to waste. But anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. You, um, you doing okay? Oh, and, and before you try to say something... You should know that you're actually gagged, so you're going to have to give me a nod or a shake here. I was not expecting a nod, actually. Or, are you sure? I mean, you are tied to a chair in someone's basement, and like, don't get me wrong, it's a nice chair. I mean, I specifically picked it out for you. Only the best for you, you know. But like, I don't think most people would be okay with this kind of situation. Anyway, um, let's get to the bit I actually practiced. So, hello. Thanks for being here. I should probably start off with an explanation as to why you're here. You see, I, I love you. I've loved you for a while, actually. Like, a really long time. I, I can't stop thinking about you. Every night. And I spend all the time in class just watching you in the corner. Dozing off. Occasionally contributing. Everything you do is just so... Beautiful. After following you home a couple of times and appointing myself as your personal protector... I decided that we're ready for the next step. For you to actually know that I exist. So, here we are. Ta-da! <laughs> now, I, I totally get that this is going to take some getting used to. I mean, I, I've pretty much got to keep you down here until people stop looking for you. I, I'd rather not have the police busting through here because they saw you in a window or something. But... Maybe we could take this time for you to actually get to know me? I've spent so much time learning and watching you. It, it makes my heart flutter to imagine you doing the same for me. And someday, being as dedicated to me as I am to you. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. That's a way off from now. I mean, you must be pretty angry and upset at me right now. Dragging you away from your friends and family to selfishly keep you to myself? <laughs> Why are you shaking your head? Are you not? That's... that's strange. No, you must just be saying that so that I'll relax and untie you, right? You always were so clever. It's part of why I love you along with everything else about you. But anyway, on to the serious stuff. I do need to know who's close enough to actually come looking for you so that I can either mislead or discourage them. Now, I'm sorry if that's hard to hear, but as they say, the course of true love never did run smooth or something along those lines. So, yeah, 
any friends you think might come dangerously close to finding you that I should be concerned about? No? Are you... Are you sure? I mean, someone like you must have loads of really close friends and... You're, you're shaking your head again. Okay, well, what about family? Do you think maybe your, your mom and dad? May, maybe a sibling? No? You're still shaking your head. Are you... Okay? There's a sad look in your eye right now. Do you want to talk about it after I've taken the gag off? Something's wrong here. Very, very wrong. I mean, I always thought I just caught you at times when you'd chosen to be alone, you know, to, to get away from the crowds. But from what you're saying, I, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and start making dinner. I learned your favorite a while back, and I deliberately kept the ingredients in stock just in case you ever stopped by. I I I'll be back before you know it. Hey, I I'm back. Oh, y you really haven't moved, have you? That's um not exactly a heavy chair. I specifically picked it out so it would be comfortable. And so that I could tell when you'd moved, but you just haven't. Your kidnapper left you alone and you just did nothing. You really don't have a problem with this, do you? This isn't a good sign. Hey, I, I, I'm just going to take off your gag, okay? I'm worried about you and I, I think we need to have a talk about this. Okay, here, here we go. All things considered, I don't think I really needed to buy this. Not to mention all the malware I think I might have gotten from that site. So, why are you so okay with this? I mean, I know I shouldn't have a problem with this situation since I'm the one who decided to do all this to you, but you? You're just thankful someone is actually taking an interest in you. That might actually be the understatement of the century, but what about all the others? They just ignore you? But that's not possible. I... Nah. I'm sorry I never noticed. If I'd known, I would have come and talked to you sooner. I just thought that among everybody else, you might not have had a time for me. But what about your family? You didn't seem to think they would look for you. Oh. Y you aren't close to them. I see. No, no, hey, hang on. You are not a disappointment. You look at me in the eyes right now. You are perfect, okay? You're none of those things you just called yourself. Not to me. And you shouldn't think that way about yourself. This is honestly a, a difficult situation. I thought I needed to keep you to myself, but... No, hang on. Don't look at me like that. I want to help you, but the truth is... I'm not qualified to give you all the help you need. <laughs> okay. Kind of ironic, really, that the kidnapper is doing all this, but we're going to help you see a therapist. I can work part-time and help take you to the sessions, and we can help you feel a little more positive about yourself, bit by bit. Okay? And eventually, we can make you see yourself the way that I do. And trust me, I totally understand what it's like to be where you are right now. I mean, think about it. Is someone who stalked and kidnapped their crush going to be the most mentally healthy person around? But like I said, I, I can't help you with this alone. And the most important thing to me is that you're happy. 
I promise we're, we're going to get through this. I will be right here beside you the whole time. I'm not going to go anywhere. I've got you, okay? But judging how you feel right now, I don't think we're going to be needing those ropes. So let me just... There. You should be untied now. Oh. You're... You're hugging me. This is a... A first. You're safe now, okay? As ironic as that may be. And I love you. <laughs>